Now, you've done a whole load of research, doesn't matter whether that was fundamentally based, technical analysis, whatever. You've done that analysis, you're looking at the stock market, you can see a specific stock that you focused in on, you think is going to crash in price. What do you do? Well, you go back to your broker and you try and go short and sell that stock. And unfortunately, the red flag flies up, you can't short stocks, or if you can, maybe it's just too expensive in terms of costs to do so. If you're say, outside the US, for example, you might be able to trade spread bets and CFDs in the downward direction, but if you are from the US, and more so if you're an international trader looking to trade US stocks, then one of the best plays, especially for beginner traders, is to simply buy put options. What is that? Well, I'm going to cover that off in this video, but the key takeaways from this is that by buying the put option, it's going to give you leverage and greater risk management control. And I'm going to take you through all you need to know if you want to start trading put options, buying put options. There are some other key strategies. We've got a lot of other content on options on the channel. But today we're focusing in on buying put options and I'm going to explain how all of that works. Let's start by visualizing the issues that we have and one way of doing that in trading, options trading in particular, using payoff profile diagrams and in front of you you can see the profit and loss on the y-axis, the price on the x-axis, and that straight 45 degree line going up is representing if you bought a long position in a stock. So as you can see, if the price rises, you make money. If it falls, you lose money. And that star point is the break even point. So that's it in its simplest form as a payoff profile diagram. So that's if we want to be long, be buying the stock. Now the flip side to that is going short or selling the stock and in the intro I said well maybe you can't actually sell that stock you know, for whatever reason and this is what that payoff profile diagram looks. It's the flip of the long position as the price increases you lose money, as it falls you make money and you can see the star again the break even point. It's very simple visualization of buying and selling and going long and short and it's the same for futures stocks you know fx if you're not using options then this is what your payoff profile diagram is going to look like you may or may not know that there are four basic um, options positions and you can put them together in countless combinations to create payoff and risk profiles for whatever scenario you're looking at but the first basic one is buying the call this is like being long um, the stock but notice we've got that horizontal line it's going to cost you to put this trade on and then we benefit from when the price goes up if it doesn't go up past our break even it comes to expiry time we lose our debit cost it's as simple as that but at least you know at the start of the trade how much your maximum loss could be and that is the debit cost but the upside is totally unlimited in what you could potentially earn and because you're putting down such a much smaller cost than buying the stock outright you then get the leverage on the return because remember for stocks it's times 100 so one options contract is 100 stocks and here is what we're all focusing on today is buying the put and it's the flip side again. It's going to cost us to do the trade, but as the price falls, we make money. We've got to get past the X point there, the expiry break even, because if we don't, we lose the debit cost. That's the total risk of the trade. But if that price keeps falling, we keep making money. And that's the scenario that we were looking at, you know, for whatever reason. We've done our analysis and we want to buy that put again. It's going to be cheaper to get into the trade. It's going to give you the leverage and you're going to be able to know your risks before you start you know, that trade, which to me is a really, really powerful bonus that you get when you trade options. 
Now for every buyer there is a seller and that's the same for puts and calls and until we get some experience I would suggest you avoid getting into the world of selling puts and calls, they're called naked puts and calls, very risky because as you can see from here you, the put you might get the credit, the positive income from selling the trade but the losses are totally unlimited and that's exactly the same for the opposite of you know the selling the put but you know selling the call if it gets past that break even point the buyer is going to be very happy and you as the seller you're going to be very miserable because that risk return isn't you know in your favor you've got to be really you know like I say more experienced in the world of options trading if you're going to start selling outright you know puts and calls and you know we can see what the call looks like it's very similar but just exactly the opposite it's um credit in there you can see immediately so some money in the bank and then as the price increases you're going to be losing the trade and gets past that break even it's going to start hurting so your viewpoint here as of the seller is going to be the opposite of the buyer for the call you really want the price to you know be going nowhere or down and it's the opposite for the put so now we visualize those six outcomes we need to focus in on you know what actually the benefits of the option are and what the option actually is really and how we can execute you know a long put position so hopefully you know that like I said that visualization has helped sink in you know the benefits of using options now it's time to get into the the nitty-gritty of actually you know like I say focusing on that long put option so firstly what is an option well that's an in a financial instrument used to trade an underlying asset or market it's a derivative product and that's an instrument whose price depends on or is derived from the price of another asset it could be stocks commodities you know FX you know whatever it is you know it like I say it's a product built off the underlying and that is the key to options a bit like futures but with a bit more of a twist as you can see from those payoff profiles and the options contract grants the right but not the obligation to buy or sell an underlying asset at a certain price on or before a certain dates and that's huge for options over you know just trading stocks or futures you have the right to buy or sell so completely you know new thinking if you're completely you know new to the world of options but the big big advantage to me of trading options is the known risks and the leverage that you know this product gives you because of the lower initial costs to getting into the trade and then when expiry comes you cash out of your trade you convert that by the factor for stocks of 100 and then you can see you know you might be sitting on a very nice gain for a lot smaller um, input initially and that's the leverage but brilliantly we know our risks before we actually start the trade let's define our problem again around the long put and look at a you know basic example around a hypothetical scenario and as we go through that scenario i'm going to pull up some key terminology that you're going to need to know and be aware of you know because this is how these options work and if you don't understand them you're going to lose money and it's going to turn nasty for you so you're going to have to put the time in to learn what these mean and i'll show you ways of you know getting familiar with like i said the terminology that's vital for your understanding of options so our problem is very simple uh, we've got a feeling that a market whatever we're looking at whether it's stock currency pair commodity etc etc you're looking at to trade is going to move big and it's going to move down in price so our outlook is bearish so that's the definition of our problem so how do we solve that well we solve it by 
using the long put options strategy. So let's take a look now at a real world hypothetical example. So we're going to look at Tesla, the US EV auto manufacturing company. This is totally hypothetical and we believe that the company's on the slide, it's in trouble. Elon Musk is selling his stock. The financials haven't been great over the last few quarters and the charts are looking pretty awful. So all you want to do is sell Tesla. We, for whatever reason, can't do the shorting of the stock. So we want to buy, we want to be long the put option. Tesla currently trading at $806.56 and we want to buy puts that give us enough time for our analysis to be correct. We want to manage the risks and have, you know, like I say, the playbook set up for this scenario to give us the best probabilities of winning. So the first question is then how do we find the right options and the relevant options prices to you know put together our strategy? So the answer is quite simple. You go to your broker and you pull up what is called the options chain. It's a list of strikes by expiry with the associated options prices for both puts and calls. And this is what a typical options chain looks like. You can see in the top left there it's Tesla. I've clicked on October because it's a, a bit of a way out, 85 days to expiration as it says there in the title. You can see on the left the calls, the bid and the ask prices and on the right what we're interested in, the bid and the ask prices as well. But notice each line is the strike price. So we knew that Tesla's trading at about 806. Depending on what scenario you want to play, and how far you think the um, price of Tesla is going to move in our case downwards, then we would pick the appropriate strike. So we're going to run through a hypothetical example. It's not the ideal solution, but it's going to show you the mechanism of how this works. We're going to get through to the rule set later in the video. Right, so for the purposes of this example, we decided to go for the 21st of October expiry that's when the contract ends and as we saw that's 80 odd days away and we believe that's enough time for the price to move significantly enough to make our put option work and we needed that strike price um, and that is if you remember back to the payoff profile it's pretty much where the break even is we got the cost of the trade to add into that break even but the strike price is where we need the price to fall below for us to start making money like I say adding in the cost of the trade as well and again we'll see more of that later in this video so they don't offer all the time the exact strike to match the um, current stock price so you look for the closest one we're going to go for the at the money um, it, uh, strike price and what does at the money mean well, that's the closest to as you know we've sort of alluded already to the current stock price now if you see the red down the bottom there and below out the money otm for puts means that the stock is greater than the put strike price and in the money means the puts are already like it says making money and the stock price is less than the put strike price now like i said going back to the scenario you might think the stock price is going to move massively down so you might actually go for more out the money um, puts which will be cheaper but maybe more unlikely to actually go through that strike price so this is the balance you've got to weigh up so for this example though we're just going to simply go for the at the money um, uh, strike price with the October expiry so let's take a look at what that payoff profile looks like for the options that we've picked. Well, we're going to go back to our broker to get that information. Right, so here you can see what it looks like. You can see the payoff diagram there, center left. And you can see the green shade areas where we start to make profit. The line down through the middle, that's the strike price. And you can see there's a bit more to go between 
the strike price and what you've paid for that option before you start to make money now the details to the right of that this trade is going to cost you nine thousand four hundred and fifty five dollars and the maximum reward well if it goes to zero seventy two thousand dollars but you can see in the bottom left we put in a scenario if it goes down to five hundred eighty one dollars ninety five the price of tesla that's going to make us fourteen thousand dollars that's a hundred and fifty percent return now we've got 86 days to achieve that the break even level as you can see there on the right middle 725 dollars 45 cents before we start to earn some money and the probability of this working just over 41 percent which isn't too bad really plenty of liquidity for tesla so no problem getting in and out of this sort of trade I'm hoping you're now wondering how much it would have cost you if you could have gone short Tesla and sold that stock. Well, here it is under that same scenario conditions. We paid out nine and a half thousand, whatever it was, for that trade. If we'd have done the equivalent in stocks, we'd have had to spend eighty and a half thousand dollars. And if it got down to around about our hypothetical target area, it was a bit lower than that in the options one, but you know, five ninety-two dollars. It's going to make us more money, twenty-one thousand dollars. But look at that expected return, only twenty-six percent. So you can see by trading the options, cheaper outlay, and the leverage on the return there, probably six or seven times greater than you know just selling a hundred shares of Tesla. So I'm hoping now that you can start to see the benefits of using options and also we know you know if we were short here we can't control our risks we knew from the outset that we were limited to the cost of you know the trade which is the nine and a half thousand dollars so it couldn't get any worse for us there potentially we could lose the whole lot in tesla being an eighty thousand pound eighty thousand dollar loss so you can see the benefit there as well to the downside so what we really need to do now is create a rule set around finding the right options expiry, you know, the right strike price, all those variables that we need to know um, that go into making this options trade a success. And you know, our, our reason for actually getting into the trade, we need to understand it could be a gut feel, quantitative statistical research, technical analysis based, fundamentally driven. But the key thing here is to make this process as objective and as systematic as possible. So with that, let's get into that rule set. So let's familiarize ourselves once more with the payoff profile for the long put option. We need that price to be going downwards we know the strike price and then we add on the cost of the trade the debit you know to add, add on to that downside before we you know break even in terms of profit you can create your own rule set but i normally go by this set of rules if i'm buying long put options i'm going to look to buy the at the money or slightly in the money strike put option and i'm going to give myself enough time at least three months to be right so that expiry date you want to be equal to or greater than three months like so that's my uh, basic rule set as you get more experience you can change and play that around you might want to um, go for way out the money uh, strikes that are more of a punt and a bet but a low cost you know that could be your strategy but for starters you know if you work your way around that lot i think you will be okay don't forget the cost of the option it's a net debit you're paying for it and also when you're doing your um, trade just make sure that you know the broker isn't killing off the idea that you have by you know a big wide bid offer spread you know killing your trade idea often happens more in the more complex options setups but you know just keep an eye on that spread you don't want to be paying unnecessarily so remember that the max risk is capped and that's the price you paid for the put and to the upside well the 
Upside is unlimited until the price gets to zero. Back to that payoff profile again then the you know risk and rewards colored in you can clearly see now where you're going to lose your money it's if the price goes up and stays you know there it's going to be the debit you know the cost of the trade that's your max risk and as we saw max reward unlimited as it heads towards zero if we're talking break evens then the break even for the long put is the put strike minus the put premium and back to our risk profile chart this is what that looks like you can see the star with the arrow pointing towards it that's where we need the price to move down through before we can start making our money that's the break even point now this is an important topic on a warning for you time decay that's called theta there's a lot of greeks that you're going to learn in options trading theta is one of them uh, it basically works against you if you're buying options whether it's calls or puts it's going to cost you in terms of holding time and the nearer you get to the expiry the more expensive that theta is so there's like a decay an erosion of the value of your option over time so that is why we suggest that you go out three months or more to minimize that cost so just something to think about when you're putting on those trades a tip for you now then if you're trading stock options make sure that the option and the stock both have enough volume liquidity and open interest to be able to get in and out of that trade with the minimal of slippage you don't want to be trading a stock that you can't you know or an option that you can't get out of and you know you lose all your gains just because of the slippage with no one really wanting to trade it's all sort of the same in commodities and fx or crypto same principle you need the other side you need the oil to grease the um the motion of the trade and if you haven't got it there then it's going to eat into your profits so getting out of the trade well if it goes right you can sell your options position at any time you don't have to leave it to expiry um, just get out close it move on to the next trade you've you've won um, obviously you've got to judge where that underlying price downside is but once your delta of the trade gets to one really there's not much left in it in terms of value so you might as well get out but if it goes wrong then you know where your max loss is it's the cost of the trade but you can mitigate that risk by getting out the options trade early just taking it on the chin or as you get more advanced more experience create different option scenarios by adding different you know calls puts etc you know expiries time horizons together to give you a different point of view and payoff profile so there you go buying going long put options a beginner's guide a lot to take in I know and my big tip here really is if you're going to get into options trading learn it properly learn all the different types of options and when the scenario is right to deploy the long put option then you know exactly what to do with it don't just jump in because you've seen this video I would always suggest you know learn 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 you know devise your trading plan you know test and then execute until then it's a very risky game. even the easiest options strategies like the long put and call can cause you a lot of pain if you're not careful but if you get it right with the leverage and the risk management it is a great fantastic tool so if you like the video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit the bell and subs buttons and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.